Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're someone who loves food or just wants to know where the stuff in your kitchen really comes from, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most fascinating journeys in the food world, from the tiny sesame seed to the products we all know and love. Whether you're a fan of tahini, sesame oil, or just a sprinkle of sesame seeds on your salad, this video is for you. So, have you ever wondered how these little seeds go from dusty fields to the ingredients you use daily? We're going to break down the entire process, from planting the seeds to producing some of your favorite sesame products. Let's dive into the magic of sesame. Sesame seeds are tiny, right? But don't let their size fool you. They pack a punch in flavor and nutrition, and they've been a staple in kitchens across the world for centuries. But how do these small, unassuming seeds become the powerhouse ingredients we use today? It all starts in the fields. Sesame plants thrive in warm, dry climates, and that's why countries like India, China, Sudan, Myanmar, and Ethiopia are top producers. Sesame is an incredibly resilient plant. It's drought resistant, which makes it perfect for areas where water conservation is key. Sesame is usually right after the rainy season. The soil is warm and well-drained, allowing the seeds to sprout. And nowadays, a lot of modern farms are using automated planting technologies. These machines ensure the seeds are spaced just right, which means healthier plants and a more efficient process. Now, these little sesame plants grow pretty fast. Within about 90 to 100 days, they're ready for harvesting. You'll notice the plants start to turn yellow, and when the leaves and stems fall off, that's the sign that the seeds are ripe for the picking. Harvesting sesame today isn't as labor-intensive as it used to be. With advanced machinery, the process has been streamlined. Specialized sesame harvesters are used to cut, thresh, and filter the seeds, all in one go. These machines are designed to minimize seed loss and prevent breakage, ensuring that the seeds stay in perfect condition for the next steps. Once harvested, the seeds are carefully packed in breathable bags to protect them from moisture, which can affect their quality. They're transported to processing plants, where the first step is cleaning. Vibrating screening machines help remove impurities like soil and stones, leaving just the pure sesame seeds.
Next up, roasting. Sesame seeds are roasted to bring out that signature nutty flavor and aroma we all love. But don't think this is a set it and forget it kind of process. Roasting time and temperature have to be carefully controlled because it directly affects the taste and color of the final product. Now let's talk about one of the most famous sesame products, tahini. This creamy, nutty paste is essential in many dishes, especially in Middle Eastern and Mediterranean cuisine. After roasting, the sesame seeds are ground into a smooth, fine paste. Depending on the facility, this could be done using traditional stone grinders or more advanced machinery. For tahini, liquid ingredients like water or lemon juice are added to achieve that perfect smooth consistency. Then, the tahini is filtered and undergoes quality checks to make sure it meets all the flavor, texture, and purity standards. After that, it's packaged in jars, bottles, and even large drums, ready to be shipped to markets all over the world. Did you know that Turkey is the largest exporter of tahini in the world? They account for around 40% of the global market, and the demand is growing. The global tahini market is expanding at about 5% per year, driven by a surge in interest for healthier natural food options. Another sesame superstar? Sesame oil. It's a widely loved product for its rich flavor and impressive health benefits. But the process of making sesame oil requires a lot of care and precision. First, the seeds are roasted to enhance their flavor and improve the oil extraction process. Then, they're placed in an oil press. There are two main methods of extracting sesame oil, cold pressing and hot pressing. Cold pressing retains most of the nutrients, resulting in a lighter, more delicate oil, while hot pressing gives a higher yield but may lose some of the natural goodness. After the oil is pressed, it undergoes filtration to remove any impurities. Depending on market demands, it may also go through deodorizing and clarifying. Finally, the oil is packaged in specialized bottles or containers, ready for use in your next stir-fry or salad. But the world of sesame doesn't end with tahini and sesame oil. One of the most beloved treats made from sesame seeds is halva, a sweet, dense dessert that's adored in many cultures.
process of making halva starts with roasted sesame seeds, just like tahini. These seeds are ground into a thick paste and then mixed with sugar or honey. Depending on the recipe, additional ingredients like nuts or flavorings can be added. The mixture is then heated and shaped into blocks or molds where it cools and hardens into the delicious treat you know. So there you have it, from the fields of sesame plants to the tahini you spread on your pita and the sesame oil you drizzle on your stir-fry, sesame has come a long way. And along the way, both traditional methods and modern technology work hand in hand to create these delicious, nutritious products. Thanks for joining us on this journey. If you learned something new today or just enjoyed the behind the scenes look at the Sesame Seeds journey, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know what other food production stories would you like to see next. And as always, stay curious and keep exploring the world of food.